Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, thank you for staying tuned. Um, I'm back to the patch of my dream field that uh, proved to be very productive last time and I'm very excited to give it another go today. Let's see what I can find and just follow me. First find of today, look here, in this lump of earth, a buckle, and it looks quite old. Oh, the middle stem is still there, and it got a, a nice design, I can tell right now. Lovely. I think this uh, should be from the 1600s. Just found some kind of rivet again, but I won't say it's Roman this time. Beautiful small rivet here with glass, as you can see. I can't tell you anything about the, the age of it. Could be quite old, because using glass is uh, nothing that has to be modern. Yeah, don't know. Look at this beautiful relic here. I can't tell you what it is. Some kind of decoration. I don't know. Look at the flower design. On the back side you, you got a hole here. It go through I would say. I will find out. Yeah, any ideas about that? Just found this bronze ring here and as you can see here are traces of iron and here you got a hole, it goes uh, through. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Mystery objects again today. massive signal here um, yeah first I thought it might be a 50 caliber cartridge but uh, there's an iron signal attached um, so I thought maybe I give you a live stick Yeah, either there's a bit of iron in the ground with uh, the good item or it is something that's combined with iron. Oh, oh, okay. What, ah, uh, what have we here? Ah, uh, okay. I think this is from a window, the handle, or a drawer handle, but it's too massive for a drawer, I would say. I think it's from a window, and here we have the iron I heard in the signal. A lovely relic.
here we have the next buckle and this one is uh, medieval wonderful relics today This has to be a fitting of some sort. You can see the two holes here. I think uh, they are for nails, I can imagine. Hmm. I'm uh, excited to see the design when I gave it a clean. I thought it's the next uh, fitting because uh, it looks quite similar shape but uh, it has to be something else but it's uh, very interesting. Hmm. Here is uh, a lump of some sort, I don't know. I was thinking about uh, maybe a fastener. I, I'm not sure what it could be but uh, according to the patina it's uh, an old relic whatever it is just stumbled over this uh, surface find here and it is a symbol <laughs> quite battered but it's hollow, doesn't even have uh, soil in it, only loose soil. Yeah, look at the state of it. Mm, what a pity. But uh, finding complete ones on plowed field is um, yeah, quite rare. First Roman of today. It's in a horrible state. But uh, it's a Roman. Guys, I, I took a single step uh, after finding this um, yeah, bronze coin, this Roman bronze coin, and I got a crisp and nice signal here. I scratched away the earth and uh, look what I just revealed here. It's uh, another Roman Siliqua and sadly, as you can see, it lost the battle against the plow. Uh, but that's quite some time ago, I would say, because the edge is uh, not shiny. Uh, I would have loved to rescue it from the plow, but um, I was too late, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's still got um, an archaeological value to it and uh, that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, it tells a story and uh, the coin is definable, so I'm looking forward to finding out what kind of coin it is because uh, the design on the coin is not familiar to me. The Emperor's head, um, yeah, looks quite uh, common or quite familiar, but the backside is different to the others I found before. So that will be exciting. Let's see what it is. I shifted the earth with my foot like I always do and I saw a round green object uh, in the earth. It's covered now again. Uh, let's reveal it together. First grab, I saw it, it was on the surface. 
what is it? Here it comes. It looks like a fennish. Two fennish. Yeah. But these are post World War II. Yeah, two fennish. Let's try another live pick. Nice. It's a back seal with a lot of writing on it. Mm, interesting. Can't wait to find out what, what's written on there. Hopefully it makes sense. <laughs> Next find is a button with a flower design. That sometimes uh, gives strange readings. Uh, scratchy, scratchy signal here. But uh, yeah, look here. It's one of these uh, Jewish uh, seals again with Hebrew writing on it. It says kosher. Still don't know uh, what these seals uh, were made for. I'm still trying to find out. It's another silver coin, I would say. Look at this. Very thin, but it falls apart, unfortunately. I'm not sure if I will be able to yeah, clean it or to reveal some details on this one. We will see. Here we have a lovely relic from the 1800s. Yeah, it's a watch winder. Always like to find them. Beautiful small buckle here. My next find is interesting. It's got a very nice patina and looks very old. It looks familiar. I have it on my tongue. 
but uh, I can tell you what it is. Maybe a fragment of, of a fibula again. Just found another fennec from the late 1800s, early 1900s. And of course, I found buttons today as well, <laughs> quite a lot. <laughs> found found a lot of shards today, um, interesting pieces here. Don't know what they are, but I will present them my archaeologist and I hope that uh, they are decent. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look on the finds again. Um, I found a bronze ring, a watch winder, a thimble, um, some uh, Roman minims. I didn't show all to you um, because they are quite grotty. Here we have a strange fitting of some sort. Looks very beautiful. A big lead back seal. And here I found uh, three of these Jewish um, uh, back seals uh, with kosher on it. Um, we have a strange uh, piece here, looks very ancient. Uh, we have uh, two fennig, one fennig, um, a silver coin here, uh, find of today for me. Um, yeah, another Roman uh, zeliqua. Here we have buckles, a tiny one medieval one. This is a renaissance one here, I would say. Um, we have um, a rivet uh, with a glass uh, piece here. And actually, I think there is a, a woman's head underneath. I have to clean it and uh, maybe I can show it in the picture to you. And here we have uh, two uh, fittings again. I don't know. Um, they look very interesting. I have to give them a clean. And of course I found also this um, window handle, I would say. It is yeah, beautiful relics today. Yeah, and a big, big pile of trash again. 50 caliber cartridges, modern ones. Oh, and uh, the tinier bits are in between. Oh, I tell you, hard work. That's it for today, guys. Um, I'm not done with this field here yet. Um, I detected um, more than half of it. Um, but uh, today uh, the farmer came on the field and I had a chat with him. And he told me that uh, a field that is next to this one will be free the coming days. I'm looking forward to, uh, to detecting this patch as well. I'm, and I'm hoping for more nice finds to present you. Yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode and I hope you will stay tuned on my channel. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for that. Until next time, I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.